Five reasons why you should think about running Linux. Stay tuned. The printer bought Simple Metal's full metal construction combined with a GT2 belt pulley system produces a 3D print that rivals that of most 3D printers costing thousands more. The 1.75mm Ubi's Hodden can print down to 100 micron resolution and calibrating the Simple Metal's build plate using the auto leveling probe couldn't be easier. Learn more about my favorite 3D printer and the winner of Make's 2015 Thin Wallet Award by visiting printerbot.com. Oh yeah guys, these are my top five reasons why you should run Linux. Of course, like any of these, there will be a top five reasons why you shouldn't run Linux coming soon. First though, remember right now, if it's before September 2nd, 2015, that we of course have the Case Labs giveaway going on. You can check down in the details for a link to that or timmytechtv.com forward slash contest, like I said, before September 2nd, 2015. But let's get to number five, multi-kernel. So not every distro has this, but uh, most of my experience with Linux has been through Red Hat. And one of the things that we always liked using it was that it had multi-kernel which means you can patch and reboot kernels without rebooting your system. If you have stuff that needs uptime, you have projects where you know you can't reboot your server, then Linux is definitely a thing you should look into. Number four, it's open source, which is good and bad, but it means that if you take an open source distro of Linux, and it needs something that you're willing to add into the source, you have that opportunity. So like Media Player is a great example. Microsoft has forsaken Windows Media Player, but all that did was cause a whole bunch of people to go write awesome uh, you know, add-ins to Linux distros for Media Player. In fact, there's whole distros around you know, Media Player functionality and home theater TVs. Number three. Support for a lot of different hardware SKUs. Now, this really is more about low-end SKUs. So like Raspberry Pi, Arduinos, um, low-end, low-power phones, tablets, everything, right? Android is a Linux distro at, at its root. So that's where I think it really shines. Raspberry Pi is to me personally, um, for what I use them for, where where Linux distros really, really shine. Um, of course, because they're open source, you can go in and, you know, and they're componentized much better than Windows, in my opinion. You can go in and remove things from, you know, distributions and customize things down to the devices you're running. You know, if you don't need a network stack, then you can remove the network stack. Try doing that in Windows. Number two, so number three kind of ties into number two, and that's the flexibility of distros, and frankly, just the sheer amount of them. There's pretty much a distribution for whatever you need it for. You know, if you're doing home media center stuff, there's distros that are better at that. If you want to do a workstation, there's distros that are better at that. If you want to run servers, there are distros that are better at that. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff with the distros, for me at least, on deciding which ones to use, tend to be around the graphical user interface. Also, one thing that I like a lot, which I haven't talked about yet, is, you know, they're, they're kind of old school. They run off of a, you know, command line based kernel. You know, the OS is command line based and, you know, everything sits on top of that. So it's not like modern day Windows you know, where the kernel is very linked into one GUI, you can have multiple GUIs with Linux, right? I mean, there's X Windows and several other X Windows is the one that I'm the most familiar with, but there's lots of options out there. And that just leads to, you know, flexibility and the ability to get things done that you need to do. Number one, it really is free. Now, depending on the distro. So my favorite distribution which is red hat is not free you have to pay for it now there are parts of it that are you know quote unquote free 
But just because something is open source does not mean it's free. So that's anybody that thinks that open source and free are synonymous, you're smoke and crack. Just are. But in my opinion, whether you pay for it, like a Red Hat distro, or you get it for free, like an Ubuntu distro, then, or Mint. I like Mint. I really do like Mint quite a bit, actually. It, it just means that it, you know, it can be free, right? So if you're using a Raspberry Pi, you buy a $30 Raspberry Pi, and this is what I'm going to keep coming back to you because Linux for me is, is all about the Raspberry Pi, baby, that you can get a free distro for your $30 thing, right? I mean, like, if you had to pay $150 bucks to put, you know, something on a Raspberry Pi, that's just crazy talk, right? I mean, who would do that? That's just crazy. But you can go out and get these free distros of people that basically donate their time and create these distributions that are really good for like say media centers. That's awesome. At the same time, that does not mean that every distro is free. So there are some that are, there are some that aren't, you know, like, like I said, Red Hat is probably, you know, at least the one I'm the most familiar with and it has always been pay. So, you know, that's one of those things, but it's also my experience with it has been mostly commercial where, you know, you kind of want some assurances that the distribution and the kernel that you're using are at least looked after by a company that has a vested interest in fixing, you know, any security flaws, any bugs that come up with some open source distributions, you're at the mercy of people that have free time. So it is what it is but it does mean that they're truly free instead of tricking you into horrible tracking software to make it quote unquote free. Uh, see my Windows 10 video if you wanna know what I'm talking about. But those are my five top reasons. What are yours? I'm curious. There will of course be five reasons why I won't. And this is the, the household here is we're split. So some of my stuff is on Linux and some of my stuff is on Windows. Basically, laptops and desktops are on Windows and everything else is running uh, some version of Linux. So, or iOS. <laughs> but anyways, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Guys, you can check us out, TimmyTechTV.com, at Timmy Tech TV on Twitter, at Timmy Tech TV on Instagram. Those are by far the places that I'm the most active. Also, the hotin.net if you want a shirt, a pint glass, all sorts of stuff. And until next time, this is Tim. We'll see you.